Good evening, folks. We're going to hit another confirmation of the impact of Earth's magnetic field on the climate of our planet. Virtually every serious study on this topic identifies that significant geomagnetic excursions and reversals, commonly known as magnetic pole shifts, have a profound impact on the climate, in addition to allowing extra space radiation to impact the life on Earth. The radiation and climate impacts are why these planetary magnetic changes are repeatedly linked to extinction events. So this week, when we saw yet another study, but at extremely high detail, it didn't come as much of a surprise. The paper focused on a micro-level pattern recognition that linked wetter versus drier climates to changes in Earth's magnetic field, and did so from the other side of the coin from where we usually see it. First, the key finding of the paper is that the critically important monsoon features ebbed and flowed with the strength of Earth's magnetic field, specifically the space radiation cosmic ray impact to clouds and atmospheric patterns, which then had dramatic impacts on their agriculture. Now, there is literally every inch of background data for new viewers in the description box below the video, but to summarize quickly here, if you'll recall, we have the 6,000 year excursion cycle, which is in the process of happening again right now, with the peak fields halfway between those events. Some of you may recall the Levantine Iron Age anomaly peak field strength of Earth 3,000 years ago. There was actually another paper on that magnetism locked in clay tablets that came out a few weeks ago. But this is important because the study we hit this week covered the period from 3,000 years ago to 1,800 years ago, which is when Earth came off of and down from the peak strength magnetic field. This is important because it shows that the climate of Earth is impacted significantly, whether it's during the excursion weak field or coming off the peak strength anomalies in between. When you recall the solar forcing of atmospheric patterns that we literally just covered in these two recent videos this year, and how it is purely an electromagnetic forcing that is modulated by Earth's magnetic field, it not only makes it easier to understand why magnetic changes on the planet impact the weather, but it illuminates one of the ignored aspects of modern climate change as our magnetic field is currently entering another excursion again. It also reminds us that what we've seen so far is child's play in that regard, and when the excursion peaks in the next 10 to 20 years, what this planet will endure will be like nothing that has happened in the last 6,000 years. Again, excellent to see this latest study confirming what we've already seen confirmed hundreds of times before, even if it does mean a rough future for our environment. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.